catching trout, is that like the freshwater equivalent of mackerel bashing? How's it going, folks? Um, I've threatened this a time or two before, uh, but I haven't got the time and I can't afford to go sea fishing. It's a minimum of about 100 miles. I'm based in Derby, so Hull really is the closest to me. It's 100 miles, it costs a fortune in fuel. Uh, and you know it takes an hour and a half to get there so you've got to write a day off to go sea fishing so mate of mine rung me up he's got access to a private stretch of river gonna give it a go he is a pond fisher he likes to fish puddles i've never really fished freshwater at all so i'm gonna use my little spinning rod now some people accuse me of being tight well i am tight so i'm gonna set myself a budget 15 quid let's see if i can get something to fish with tomorrow. I am fancying myself one of them. Cod season coming up. Not on that. Well, I came in thinking, just buy, it's, it's fresh water fishing, just buy the flimsiest looking stuff you can, but what are you meant to catch with that? The next one you're gonna have to explain to me is why you'd pay four quid a bag of corn like that when you can oh because it's vanilla flavoured vanilla flavoured corn just get a bag of frozen corn 69p little why why are you buying corn from here guys here we go then this is what we've ended up with a carp kit essential kit with a couple of rigs in a couple of weights even this is why i bought it on the back it tells me how to rig up so like that Treated the reel to uh, some new line because I couldn't even tell you what decade that line's from, never well what poundage it is. Uh, but a couple of little really tied hook traces and a couple of floats. And just for proof, 17 quid. I didn't intend on buying the uh, buying the line, the line was four quid, so well under budget. I'm happy with that. And on top of that, this is the old reel that I've got. It's just sat in the uh, in the garage doing note. So um, I'll get some new line put on it, get it cleaned up a bit, stick a bit of oil on it. Should be good as gold. Also in the garage, found these. They're another decathlon special, just a little pack of spinners. Um, but from what I remember, that little lure of the mine's too heavy to uh, cast them. They don't cast very well. And that's it. That is the total extent of my freshwater gear. Next time you'll see me it will be tomorrow morning, the Riverside. And I'm determined, because my mate's already messaged me saying he's got a garage full of stuff. Um, so I'd just like to prove that for 15 quid you can set up and have a, a decent crack at it. If not, I'll see you on the beach again. It's not bad. Mate, that doesn't count. I know it doesn't. Disappointed, mate. Thought you were, I thought you were the freshwater expert. Can't oh, even land a fish. There we go. First ever freshwater species. Little crayfish. I do know that some of these are invasive and you're not allowed to put them back. Or I, have, I think I'm pretty sure I've read that somewhere, but. Again, completely winging it. Sort of set up. And chuck a couple of maggots on that. So let it float down the river and see what happens. Looks pretty tasty that I'd ever go on that I reckon. There we go. Gotta keep it on this time. That looks a bit better. So you've just got to keep it on now. Yeah, I'll net it. Then you can blame me when you lose it. Here we go. 
There we go. Not bad little fish that mate. Gone. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Another first for me as well. There you go. Get your GoPro turned on. I think it is on. Oh. I think. Smallest fish at day. <laughs> oh. I used to have to worry about these things spiking your out like bloody bass and stuff. Bite, yeah. There we go, look. Tiny, tiny. A picture. No, I'm good, mate. It's uh... <laughs> hey. Dropped it, haven't you? I don't know. That might be smaller than mine. That's not smaller than yours. I reckon that's smaller than mine. Set up. Fucking crocodile fucking in front of you Jump it. I mean, it depends how big it is. In here, probably going to be about four foot, isn't it? I reckon I could wrestle a four foot crocodile. Where would you draw the line, though? What size? Yeah. Do? No, like size. I reckon five foot. If a five five foot croc, I reckon you'd struggle. I'd be out of here. <laughs> They're nasty bastards. They just fucking crush you against that bank. Yeah, it would. It's something like forty mile an hour they can run at and all. So I'm not. I'm not going to outrun it either. Probably just have to admit defeat, punch it on the nose, and hope for the best. Won't want me anyway. Go for you first. More meat on bones. Go. Yeah. Same one. To actually get a picture of this one, mate. Don't fuck it up. Netting itself. Yeah, I'll get it. Lip hooked as well. Don't mess it up. I mean, if you can. Oh, fucking case. Butter fingers. The slippy as fuck, mate. You wouldn't know, mate, I haven't caught one. They're not this slippy when they're in your dinner plate. Oh, only gonna done it again. Thought I'd go out and rescue that one because, uh, well, it's my last one, but. I think I'm going to make it. So long, friend. Oh, what a bastard. All right, let's figure this out then. So, they're quite heavy then, to be fair. It gets no more complicated than that. So you got some boilers? Yeah, do your bag and the uh, new dog. <laughs> I 
flavours we got. Squid and krill. Strawberry crush. Oh yeah. Is that onion mustard chicken? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've got one in this kit, mate. I tell you, this kit's got everything you need. Apart from bait. I, did, I nearly bought a bag of boilies, but then when you were having to go at me for buying stuff, I thought I must have some of it. I don't know why, I mean, he'd normally put on. The bigger the bait, the bigger the fish, mate. Hey? Mate, I'm going to catch a fish you've never seen. Fine, I'll stick with one. Assume these little things are to stop it falling off. Come on. Oh, I can't do it. Hold on. And then that stops it, obviously, from falling off. Set. Well, you just leave it like that. Yeah. You're gonna have to catch something big. Like I'm gonna catch something big, mate. About fifteen pound a log. Alright, I'm just gonna send it down this bit of river. In fact, I might put. It, yeah, well, I'm gonna put it in that bit over there where I lost my uh, float. That's good, big stuff's moving in, mate. Third arm here. Help. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> ah, that cast a lot better than I thought. Hey. I mean, I think I'm in the tree and in the rocks. I mean, I didn't. Uh, right, I'm going to walk. See if I can retrieve this. You don't get none of this shit on a beach. It's a good job there's two lots in that kit because I think I might, uh, might have lost this one. Oh, it gets better. <laughs> oh. Should have just snapped this off. Yeah, you stay there, mate. Don't worry about it. Well, this is where I wanted to be fishing because it was. I seen fish, but there's not going to be any fishing here anymore, is there? Oh, it goes deep here again, isn't it? Oh. Right, no, there was like, yeah, there was basically just a big rock. There's slimy rock, and I just slipped off the rock. Oh. Uh, no, I think it's only my jumper that's uh, wet. All right, see if I can make it back a bit more successfully. At least I've got me 50 pence worth of gear back. Huh? Mate, from here I may as well just spearfish. I'm going to be behind that tree somewhere. Somewhere over there. Mr. Nettim is only a babby. Yeah, hey, look, I only need a quarter at net. That's probably the smallest one. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than mine. It's what? It's not a nice one. This one's the one that you're not allowed. The the invasive one, I think, isn't it? From what I was just reading. It's not white. No, the white one's the white clawed crayfish is the UK one. This one with the brown underside is the signal crayfish, which is the, one the invasive one. Shit. I'm pretty sure is what I've just read. 
Hey. Yeah, I'm giving up with fishing. I'm no good at fishing, I'm gonna become a crab man instead. Crustacean killer. You're on again? Don't go straight ah. Don't go so far away. Yeah, but I don't want these little things that you keep catching, mate. I'm after a river monster. How many people have said that to you before? To be fair, there's nothing to say that the bloody uh, corned beef's not just pulling straight off anyway. That's what I say, reel, reel it in now. <laughs> just it straight off. Well, that's a shit idea. Just the weight of your size of your weight. What do you mean the size of the weight? I'll tell you what then. Make one of these tiny little weights of yours. What's this one? Are you putting a weight on or a fucking? No, and gram. No idea, mate. got a weight on it, it's a weight. There you go, 10 gram. So you reckon it's the weight that's uh, pulling my bait off? I can't say I'm about losing all these little shitty bits of plastic in water either. can't say I'm about losing all these shitty little bits of plastic in the water either, that's not exactly very good. Try that then. That come off. I'm pretty sure it did, didn't it? Oh, corn beef wank. <laughs> the what do you mean it's the hooks? It's nothing to do with the hooks. The way you're putting those things on, the hooks that I've got, the bit of plastic is looped onto the line already. Yeah. So it can't come off. Yeah, but that can't come off because I'm pressing the corn beef back round it. Yeah, the corn beef is too soft. Oh, right, so it's not the hooks. All right, I'm going back to your ship boilers instead. Because uh, I've caught some of it. In fact, I've caught more species today than you have, pal. Just catching it. I've caught. Proper hunter gatherer, that is. I mean, these boilers are splitting in half. <laughs> Best let this guy go. No. Before I get shouted at. Because even even though it is definitely a signal cray and the invasive species, apparently you need written consent to keep to trap them. So. I don't think they'd see it that way though. So off he goes to plight the native species, kill all them off. Yeah, mate, have your tub back. Well, I've just put that light weight on, so what I might do is just to prove a point prove that if I'd have done it all along I could catch bigger fish than you I might put a small hook on and just go for these little trout that you've been after then I'll have had two two species and a bigger fish than you 
You're supposed to be a freshwater expert. Great then. Oh, three species, pal. Three species. Uh, uh, yeah, sort of. And there we go, another new species for me. On the river. Oh, Alex. Oh, that was better, that was. Yeah, well, because you're in my swim now. That was. I'll show you where it was. Right on the edge of that tree. Edge Straight of out. That. Oh, well done, dickhead. Get out of my oh. way. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I think it's the same one as I caught last time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, I got my hand on it. See, look, I can catch it if you want. It's just sat there next to my foot. Oh yeah, that is a better fish. Dickhead. You might need net. Get net. I think, I think this is a prize winning one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely the best one today. That. You can't, you can't even try and deny it. That's a better size one. How big was yours? No, it ain't. Myself. Yeah, I'll do as the honours. Take us a picture. Reckon branch, weed, or just shitloads of leaves. Branch. branch, correct. Ten points, Gryffindor. Another one, mate. Yeah. These hooks are that small, I can't get them out. Oop, there you go. Hey? Yeah, but I don't want small fish, do I? I want fish with big mouths. In all seriousness, though, I am up for going over to France or whatever. Just pack the van up and go over camping and go catfishing. Stick the van on the uh, Eurostar or something. If you're up for it. I'd go, I'd go anywhere with you. What colour maggots are you using? Listen, mate, don't come getting tips off me. I've been catching either on a straight red or whatever, and then with a blue. So basically, any colour that we've got. What are you doing, stop 
Well, what time is it? Until I get bored of catching these little sprats. Just need to be home early enough so I can do my COVID test and get get a certificate before the morning. Because it's got to be 24 hours. Because it wouldn't have been 24 hours, would it? I would say I'll stay and fish until bait's gone, but with how many maggots you bought, I think we'll be here for three weeks. Unless you bought a pint, that's what you're buying, mate. Well, you can't buy any less than a pint. I think some places will let you buy an half a pint, but no, you're buying by a pint. Try to have gone home. Raining. Right, that's it, I'm done. I'm already wet enough as it is. Well, that's the end of what I'd say is a, a relatively successful freshwater fishing session, river session for my first one. Didn't blank, so it's better than a lot of the sea fishing sessions I do. Um, I had I had a trout and four or five grayling. Um, I think Taz had probably three, three or four grayling, I think, and four or five trout. So. Um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a bad session. I can't say I'm hooked. I, I don't know what it is. There's something about it that it just doesn't quite have the same appeal to me as sea fishing. But yeah, go on. I've bought, I bought a year's rod license. So, um, you know, if anybody fancies taking me out fishing and trying to convince me otherwise, feel free, drop me a message and um, yeah, let's, let's head out. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a shot. I've got the gear now. 15 quid's worth of gear, so it needs using. If you uh, yeah, if you do want to see more freshwater fishing, um, or me falling in water, or just generally me making an arse of myself, um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. I I'd love to get to the thousand subscribers point, but even just getting to 500 unlocks a lot more options for you as a creator in, uh, in YouTube. So um, there's things like I can post on there, and it basically becomes a bit like Facebook, where I can post pictures and updates on what I'm, what I'm getting up to and stuff so I think something like 65% of, uh, of people who are watching the videos are, are non unsubscribed people so if you don't mind subscribe uh, hit the notification bell if you want to know when the uh, when the videos drop anyway thanks for watching until next time look after yourself take care and tight lines